Hello! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kathy. This is Kathy's Country Life. And we're going to do a little experimenting today. Um, there's all kind of biscuit recipes out there. And I'm wondering which is the best. Now, I think the way that I make mine is the best. But there's some variations. And I think that we're going to try out four recipes. And Chris and I are going to be the judge on which one we think is the best homemade biscuits. So, I'm going to make the traditional homemade biscuits made with, don't be surprised, Crisco. Is it healthy? No. Does it make delicious biscuits? Yes. And then we're going to make an all butter biscuit, which I have kind of, I haven't gone all butter yet. I have started doing half shortening and half butter in my biscuits, but this is going to be all butter, no shortening. And then we're going to make the famous two ingredient biscuit, which I've never made before. My mother-in-law makes some and my sister-in-law makes some, but I haven't. And that's with using heavy whipping cream. And then the fourth biscuit we're going to do is made with cream cheese. So, I'm going to bring y'all down here, and we're going to get this started, and um, bake them up, and we're going to see which is the best homemade biscuit. Okay, I'm going to bring you down, and we'll start getting to mixing. I might need a little extra light. Hang on. Okay. Alright, so in each bowl here, I've got two cups of flour. I've got all-purpose flour. I don't have any um, self-rising flour. So, to this, we're going to, where's my measuring spoons? I brought them over here. Oh, there they are. Okay. We need three teaspoons of baking so uh, powder added to two cups. Three. Okay, and then we're going to do a half a teaspoon of salt. And this is for two cups of flour. We're going to give that a whisk. Get it all incorporated into the flour. Got all that mixed up. I've made a mess, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna start now. These are this is a blending fork. Um, Colored Valley Cook Cooks. If you ever follow her, she uses these. And probably about a year ago, I ordered these off of Amazon, and I love them for this kind of application when you're having to incorporate butter or shortening or anything into a flour. So. First thing here, I've got about a quarter cup of shortening. Plop it in. I'm going to go ahead and get all the fat content in, um, and then we'll go in and blend it. This is one stick of frozen butter that I grated. It's not really frozen anymore, but it's cold, that I grated. Now, half of this is going to go into our all-butter biscuit. And then half of it, the other half, is going to go into our cream cheese biscuit. So that's a half a stick of butter in a recipe, whichever one you're making. <clears throat> okay. And so what I do is I just take my blending fork and I start working that shortening, butter, whatever it is that you're incorporating, and just use this. You know, there's those pastry cutters that you can use too, but I find this one is a lot easier. I'm 
and it really just does not take long at all. It's basically cutting the butter into it until you get a flour that looks coarse with some butter chunks in it. Some people say it should look like cornmeal. Mine never really looks like a cornmeal. It looks a little bit chunkier than that. To me, it kind of looks like, I don't know, maybe flour with some rice in it. Sticky rice, like not raw rice. Like rice that's already been cooked and it kind of clumps in here. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing with the butter. I am using buttermilk on all of these. These are going to be buttermilk biscuits. This is how I make my biscuits. If you don't have buttermilk, um, things would take about a cup of buttermilk each. If you don't have um, buttermilk on hand, you can take just shy of a cup of milk and just put a good splash of vinegar in it but let it sit for about 10-15 minutes to clabber up and you can use that as a substitute for buttermilk and it works well okay if you can really see it's just a it's very coarse but you can still see butter pieces in it Okay, I'm not doing anything to the one that we're making with the whipping cream. And then this is the one for the um, cream cheese, which is basically a butter biscuit with cream cheese in it. But I've never had that, so we're going to see what kind of flavor profile we get from that. I'm going to need a little bit bigger bowl on this one. So I'm going to mix this up, and when we come back, we're going to put in the wet ingredient, which would be the buttermilk or the whipping cream. Okay, so the buttermilk. <clears throat> this is a cup. I'm going to put that. This is our Crisco one. This is our all butter one. And on my <clears throat> cream cheese one, I've got a bigger bowl. I think it was shallower than these. We're going to see how that goes. Oh, and then let me wipe this out. Let me just get another one. Okay, so for, let me come over here. For the whipping cream one, it, it calls for a cup and a half of whipping cream per two cups of flour. I'm going to go with a cup to start out with. Gotta keep these in order. Okay. And I'm just gonna start mixing in the buttermilk. I kind of just won't, and it may take more buttermilk. I can already tell this one is. It's dry. This is a cup, so I'm gonna do a half. How that looks. I'm gonna need a little bit more. <laughs> I don't ever measure when I'm doing buttermilk. I just pour. So this would make a, a three fourths of a cup total. A cup and three fourths of a cup. I don't ever measure when I make biscuits, but I think this has got it. Okay, so the all butter one is good. I'm gonna set it on this butter plate so I can remember. All right, and then this is the Crisco one. This 
this is going to need a little bit more. I got a quarter cup left right here. I needed a bigger bowl on that one too. So I got a cup and a quarter in here. I think I probably just need another quarter cup. So that's going to be a cup and a half. You're just going to have to start out with like a cup and just get it to a shaggy dough. down here. But I think that it keeps absorbing. I'm just making such a big mess. Okay. So that's the first one. That's the Crisco one. Okay. This is This is messy. Making biscuits is messy. This is the whipping cream one. No, it I, there was a recipe for this one and it did say a cup and a half of whipping cream. And it's probably going to need it. It's dry. I just messed up. I just messed up. We're gonna have to hang on. I messed up. Did you see what I did? Anyway, I put the heavy whipping cream into what's supposed to be my cream cheese biscuits because there was butter all in it. So, anyway, I had to throw that away. <clears throat> Start all over. Okay, this is the one that's supposed to have the cream cheese in it. I've got a fourth of a block, two ounces of cream cheese. that we will mix into this. I don't know how easy that will be. I should have already put it in there. That's okay. We can do it. I think we'll have to mix it with my hands. This is a this is too sticky for a biscuit dough. So I'll just when I'm I'm rolling them or patting them out, I'll have to add more flour. Oops, I have to add more flour to it. Okay, cream cheese. I'm just gonna lay that right there so I can remember. Okay, this is the whipping cream one. I just put a cup in here. I had a half left over and then I used that half wrongly on the messed up batch. So if I need to get another half a cup, I will. Don't know that I need another half cup, but I am going to need a little bit more. more. I am going to have to have that over half a cup because I just put like probably two tablespoons in the end. Okay. 
That's a little dry, but I'm going to let it sit and absorb that liquid to see um, how much more we'll need. Okay. I'm going to clean up a little bit. I'm going to get my pastry mat out, and we'll start working on these. i got my oven preheated to 450 degrees. Okay. I've got my pastry mat down. I got off the Timu. If y'all watch that, I love it. It don't move. Um, so we're going to start out with the first one, the shortening biscuits. You just want to lightly flour, kind of heavily flour with that, your surface. Okay, and I usually keep flour like a little pile here, a little pile here. And I'm not going to like just knead, knead it, but I'm just going to bring it together. You can roll your biscuits if you want to. I just kind of pat them out. To the thickness that I like. It's about a half an inch. Maybe a little less. Ooh, mess. Okay, just got a standard biscuit cutter. I'm gonna, like tap it around in this and what I've got here I've got a cookie sheet with parchment and I've written on here which one is which so I can keep up with them when they bake and then I got another parchment that I'm going to we won't eat all these biscuits so I'm gonna freeze some of the dough okay and we're just gonna start cutting go straight down don't twist I think I'm just going to do two of each for the experiment. I am running out of places. <laughs> to put stuff. I got my big old um, roaster oven over here. I've been doing beef stock <clears throat> since yesterday, so it takes up a lot of my counter. If you've never froze homemade biscuits, they freeze wonderfully. I put them on parchment, kind of flash freeze them before putting them in a um, Ziploc baggie. Okay, first one done. Okay, so now we're going to do the all butter one. I had it sitting on my butter plate so I would know. And this one, let me spread some flour out. And this one's going to need some more <clears throat> flour added into it too. It's a little sticky. Okay, now I'm 
then we're going to move on to the whip the heavy cream one. Okay, here they are. Ooh, I didn't put a um, I didn't brush butter or egg wash or anything on there, so they didn't get as golden brown on top. But they're done. They look good. I mean, Chris is going to give these a taste test. They're really hot right now, so hang on. What you want to do? Hmm? All right, Chris is here. Just turn oh. me off, please. I told you they're hot. I'm going to gag and Sam. It's good. Okay. That's the shortening one that I normally make. Hot. Let me get these to cool off. They're better with some butter. We're gonna do a raw test test. You gotta test taste more. There's four different recipes. He thought that was it. That's the best one so far. Mm -hmm. They're good. They're Did all good. Did you taste this one? Mm hmm. Which one's your favorite? That one. This one? That's the two ingredient with the heavy cream. It had a better taste to it. Hot, hot. That taste it, moving it too long. Okay, I got my opinion. My favorite is the butter one, the all butter one. My battery cut off, I don't know if y'all got that, but my favorite one is the butter one. It is very flavorful. I like the texture. My next favorite would be the shortening one, and I think that's because this is how I make biscuits anyway. I'm used to this taste. The third place would be the heavy cream one. And it's a texture thing for me, I guess. It just did not, it's kind of flat. It didn't rise real good. I don't know why. This one is Chris's favorite, the heavy cream one, the two ingredient one. And my least favorite is the cream cheese one. It gives a, um, it 
it's not, I don't want to say richness because a rich biscuit would be good, but it kind of, it's almost like a savory, which within a biscuit is savory, it's not sweet. I don't know how to say it. Um, I just don't care for the flavor. It's okay, but I wouldn't waste cream cheese on making them again, if that makes sense. I mean, they're okay. So, Chris's favorite was the heavy cream one. Mine is the butter one. So, um, I'll be making the butter one from now on. He won't tell the difference. Um, but yeah, I've been kind of, I've made all butter biscuits before, it seems like, and I didn't really care for them, but... Um, I really like the all better one. There you go. And it's better for you than using the Crisco. I guess I was just being old school with the shortening, but that's okay. That's okay. We know. So, voila. Taste test is done. I have got the tray with all of them on in the, um, freezer and they won't go to waste. They could, frozen biscuits cook up beautifully. Um, so anyway, there's that. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. Um, I do a little bit of everything. I do a little bit of cooking, preserving. I've been doing some clothing hauls. I've been doing some grocery hauls, um, kitchen hauls. I guess you could just say shopping hauls. Um, and then some gardening. And of course, when gardening gets into full swing, we'll be doing a lot of that in preserving. So if you like that kind of stuff, please hit the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Give me a thumbs up and we will see you next time. Thanks guys.